Select kitchen items for living local provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Well, welcome back, guys. We all love charcuterie boards, but when you're pressed for time or you don't feel like rolling out like a whole big spread and putting it all together, this is a quick and easy way on the go to get your charcuterie fixed, but it's called charcuterie. Mm -hmm. Want to guess why, Josh? Because we have jars. Yes, good job. Right? Is that it? <laughs> That's exactly Pass it. Pass the test. You did. So another great perk of doing charcuterie, you know, at a time when we are trying to be as sanitary and not share our germs. This you kind of... Yeah. This confines is, it to whoever. Exactly. exactly. It's contained, less likely to share germs, and um, like the skewers that we have put in here, you can write people's names on them, so if you set one down to go do something. I don't know if everybody can see, wonder. I got a smiley. Yeah, that's because you're special. Smiley you're always face. smiley. So to make this happen, your charcuterie, you are going to need the following things. You need skewers, obviously, like shish kebabs, um, cheese of your choosing, some olives. Do you want to be the Vanna White over here? Yeah, for sure. Okay. We have two different kinds of olives. Yeah, black olives, green olives, there whichever you is you one um, sandwich meats of some kind we did pepperonis and but you can do like turkey ham whatever you want to do fresh fruit we've got raspberries blackberries strawberries um, some crackers or bread of some kind nuts and hummus if you choose which you're not a huge hummus it's just fan. average to me I know people I guess they have the different flavors and whatnot it doesn't bother me okay well but I'm, I don't go out of my way for hummus Fair I'm enough. just kind of middle of the road with it well I'll set mine over here so what you're gonna do to start building your charcuterie board is you're going to put some nuts in the bottom of the jar. I'm sorry, I didn't even think to open that for you. But I have I got this. Okay, my bad. My so bad. how much are we putting in? So you want to put like maybe an inch or so in there. You sure you got this, Josh? I've got a couple. I've got a couple, <laughs> couple of castaways here, but I've got it. So we're going to scoot our bags over here. Okay, that's good. You you can put as much in there as you want. So you want to top me off? Sure thing. While you're doing that. Okay, so while Josh is putting some nuts in the jar, I'm going to go ahead and start my charcuterie stick. So basically, this is just like a giant game of shish kebab. So we're just shish kebabing. Pretty things. much. So you can put whatever you want on there. Um, I'm going to do some black olives, some pepperonis, and Josh, feel no, free to No, if it were up to me, it would just be olives and pepperonis. That's it? That's all you want? That's my favorite pizza, pepperoni uh, and olive. Me too. Yeah. There's some bonding experience here. So you can make it pretty. You can jazz it up a little bit. Put some fresh fruit on there. You know, somebody was telling me this the other day. They were like, basically charcuterie. Cheese broke already. Oh no, it's like grown up Lunchables. That's exactly about, what it is. But it's, it makes you feel very sophisticated to have your grown up Lunchable. I still eat Lunchables every once in a while. I do too, it's they're so quick snack, and right? easy. You can take them with you. All right, there we go. Okay, so the beauty of charcuterie is that you can kind of customize it however you want okay you can do turkey you can do ham whatever kind of cheese we have pepper jack and um, sharp cheddar here so we just sort of did a variety and i'm like you i like the olives so i think i'm gonna put some more black olives on here so what is your go-to quick snack my go-to quick snack usually just like a granola bar sometimes a cliff bar if i have to that's very healthy it is and then pop tarts everybody knows oh, like okay. i go for the pop tarts that sounds a little bit better i was going to say like my go-to snack is probably i don't know french fries something like okay. that from where mm, okay so probably either whataburger or mcdonald's <laughs> they have the best french right? fries but all right okay so you built your whole one already? You're like jamming it all together. Put a little oh, space okay. in between you're, there. You're artsy. There's not a lot of fruit on there, Josh, I'd like to point out. We're going to do that with the next one. That's why we oh, have two. Oh, okay. All right. There well, go. I'll go ahead and do this, and we'll start doing a fruit one. So these are really quick and easy to make. You can let your, your guests design them however they want, or you can have some pre-made on hand and just give folks a jar when they walk through the door, you know. Um, for your I'm taking oh. all the fruit now. Oh, is that how that's out. working? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Josh's being rude. Tell you what, for that, I'm taking the pepper jack cheese back. So there, how about that, Josh? Oh, it is good. So you can find this recipe and some other ideas on our website, arclitexhomepage.com. And that way you can kind of check out the charcuterie options, maybe get some ideas and go, I wouldn't do that. I'd do something different. Be careful. Those are kind of sharp. Yes. I just figured that out. I should have warned you. No, I knew. Okay. So once you have it all built, you can put it together like this. Josh is still working over there, so I'm going to let you do your thing. 
But then you've got your own personal little jarcuterie that if you are, you know, watching some football or something, right. you have it all contained. It's kind of, it's really kind of the easy. beginnings of a Bloody Mary, too. Oh, it does look like a Bloody yeah. Mary, doesn't it? It's got potential. So once you eat the nuts out of the bottom, you know. You can top it off with whatever exactly. else you might want. Perfect. Very easy for you to check out. So again, visit our website, arclatexhomepage.com forward slash loving living local. You'll find the recipe there, plus some other great food ideas where Josh has been a guinea pig in the kitchen with me. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, definitely stick around. We're going to be back with more loving living local after the break.